Why, hello there, Elmer. Where are you going? How'd you know my name was Elmer? <laughs> I just guessed it. Well, just guess where I'm going. Now, don't you get sore, neighbor. I may be just the fellow to show you the sights. Say, you're not here on business, are you? No, I'm here to make whoopee. Just as I thought. <laughs> Look at those pants. They're my hunting pants. Been hunting for the coat for six months. <laughs> And look at this coat. What kind of goods is that? Rip Van Winkle. Long nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you little dickens. I'll bet you're a lady killer, all right. Those I don't kill, I triple. <laughs> Say, how would you like to meet a couple of showgirls with me tonight? Showgirls? Well, you know what showgirls are, don't you? Sure. Showgirls, a girl that's got something to show, and she shows it. Oh, no kidding. How'd you like to meet them? Sure. Where can we meet these girls? Well, that's just it. I was to meet them at the Melody Club. But to tell you the truth, I'm a little short. Uh, have you got any money? No, I'm a little short, too. Oh, uh, well, that's too bad, because these are a couple of pips. Well, I'll be seeing you around sometime. See you around. Say, can't we make it for tomorrow night? My dad sent me a check for $1,000 in the morning. $1,000 in the morning? Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. Now I'll tell you what we'll do for tonight. Of course, you know we're broke. Yeah. So after the waiter brings us the check at the Melody Club, here's how we'll get out of it. I'll start to pay the check. You say, no, no, I'll pay the check. I'll say, no, I'll pay the check. You say, no, I invited you in here, I'll pay the check. Then I'll say, no, I'll pay the check, or I'll punch you in the nose. And you say, you punch who in the nose? I'll say, I'll punch you in the nose and invite you out in the alley. <laughs> and after we get in the alley. And then what? Well, we don't come back. Say, that's a darn good idea. Does that scheme always work? Does it always work? Oh, it never failed yet. It never failed yet. Well, don't forget, 11.30 at the Melody Club. In, In the, the alley. alley. Say, where are you going now? To buy a diamond for one of the girls. Why, I thought you were broke. Don't need any money. No? See that jewelry store in the middle of the block? Yeah. See that a big electric sign out front? Oh, yeah. What does it say? We extend credit on diamonds. Just bring an honest face. Ladies and gentlemen, we will have a number by Miss Thelma White and her girls.
have pretty faces? I wasn't looking at their faces. <laughs> Say, where are the girls we're supposed to meet? Now, don't get excited. They'll be here any minute. Say, are you sure your old man will send you $1,000 tomorrow? Positively. <laughs> hello. Why, hello, girls. We were just wondering where you were and talking about you. Girls, I want you to meet Mr. Glutton from Escanaba. Oh, we're awfully glad to know you. And why not? <laughs> Won't you sit down? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, we're awfully sorry to have kept you waiting. But we just saw the most terrible accident. Well, what happened? Well, there was a man all cut up and bleeding. Automobile? No. It seems he and another man went into a cafe and ordered a lot of food. And then when the waiter brought him the check, the poor man didn't have any money. <coughs> Where did this happen? In the alley. In, in the alley? Uh-huh. And it was the most terrible thing I've ever seen in all my life. Where well, the man was bleeding all over. Even his ears were almost cut off. Oh, tut, tut, tut. Don't say any more. We'll lose our appetite. I lost my appetite now. I think I'd better be going. Oh, no, no, no. Sit down. Everything will be okay. We'll call the waiter and have some service. Oh, waiter? Yes, waiter. Yes, sir. How about a little service here? Uh, what's your order? Night the Columbus. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, what are you going to have to eat? Well, uh, what would you suggest? Well, how would you folks like to have a nice, big, juicy steak all smothered with mushrooms? Ah, that's just what we'll have. That's just what we haven't got. Uh, what would you girls like to have? Oh, I don't think I'd want anything to eat. You know, I seem to have a little pain right here. Oh, <laughs> you have acute indigestion. <laughs> You know, so many men tell me that. <laughs> you can't notice it from here. I think I'd have a nice big order of roast beef. Roast beef? What do you charge for roast beef? Why, uh, that's a dollar and a half, sir. How about gravy? That's free. Any charge for bread? That's also free. Well, oh, bring us four orders of bread and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of spend trips, eh? You don't see any kilts on us. I'll say so. Our money flows like glue. So I see. Say, waiter, have you any good old pie just like Mother used to make? Just like Mother used to make. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Bring me a piece of watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, ain't we making whoopee? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll tell you what you do, waiter. Bring us four nice suppers, and we'll take good care of you. You take good care of me? Yes, sir. Reed. Yes, sir. In, In the, the alley. alley. And now I want to introduce our little star, Miss Ginger Rogers. <laughs> Through and through, no, I just must have a star. 
I'll bet you never saw a show like that in Escanaba. No, I can't say that I have. Oh, I'll bet you a lot of great men born in Escanaba. No, just babies. <laughs> How did you ladies like the show? I thought it was perfectly splendid. But it's getting late, and I think we'd better be going. Well, that's quite all right. If you'll pardon me while I get the check. Of course. Waiter, the check? Yes, waiter, let's have the, uh... Uh, how much is it, waiter? Uh, that's $15, sir. Uh, how much? $15. <laughs> the check is here. $15. <laughs> $15, huh? Yes, sir, well, $15. Uh, I'll pay the check, waiter. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'll pay it. <laughs> that's the check in your hand. This is the check. Yeah, with the figures on it. $15, <laughs> yes, sir. Well, uh, I'll pay the check. <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> oh! <laughs> I'll pay the check, waiter. Yes, oh, no. Yes. I'll pay the check. Oh, no, no, no. I invited you in here, and I'll pay the check. No, you're my guest, and I'm going to pay the check. Say, listen, I'll pay the check, or I'll punch you in the nose. You'll punch who in the nose? I'll punch you in the nose. Come on out in the alley. Just a moment. Just a moment. Say, listen, there was a couple of guys in here last week pulled that gag about in the alley and walked out of here owing me a check for $19. And you guys are not going to get away with it. You get me? I want that $15. I want minute. it right away. Just a minute. What's all this rough stuff got to do with my change? Uh, your change? Yes, my change. Yes, his change. What? Uh, what did you give me? I gave you a $20 bill. Well, I'm awfully sorry, sir. Here is your change right there. I'm awfully sorry. I won't let it happen again. You can thank that. We were going to give you a big tip. Yes, sir. But you've insulted us. So let this be a lesson to you. Yes, sir. Yes, and the moral of that lesson is... Uh, a woman with a wooden leg should never marry a man that likes to whistle. Right you are. Come on, girls. Let's get out of here. 